As with anything spiritual, practices can be used and, uh, and abused by bad players. But many find burgeoning tarot practice to be an invaluable tool for self-reflection and personal growth, as you know, Jay. It's also a tool with political potential. For example, spiritual traditions and practitioners played a significant role in a number of North American and Caribbean slave rebellions. I had no idea about that. The Pink News writer Jackson Kings writes on the, on the positive impact of believing in spirituality tarot and astrology saying that whether it is about finding the power to change one's life or circumstances as a collective such practices bring a sense of hope and possibility which is valuable does astrology work for gays what are we all talking about i mean this is right up your alley this with what you lane. do as a spiritualist and yes. uh, also a coach i mean you also you yes. coach people through circumstances and rough times and weird mm -hmm. times in their life with yeah these tools yeah um and the the beautiful thing it, 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 about this story is said that it's um also can be used as a tool for uh political advancement mm -hmm. <clears throat> in africa the tradition which i practice yoruba tradition with, and apart from a few other spiritual modals the queer people were actually the spiritual center really? or the spiritual leaders in the community yeah and also, if you retrace um, your roots back with India and their culture before it was colonized, the same. Um, and in two-spirit communities two -spirit, also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm learning yeah. so much right now. Yeah. So uh, queers have always been considered in cosmology of indigenous practices the gatekeepers to the um, spiritual I realm. love that. And they kept so. all the secrets mm -hmm. also. That's mm -hmm. so incredible. Do you think that queer people are more into this into this belief then then maybe an, then another then maybe straight people like yeah. you know because i mean we have issues with religion we yeah. have issues with believing in yeah. that kind of stuff because we're constantly told you're an abomination yeah. or you know all are welcome but you you know so yeah i think we turn to these practices because we don't have um, a navigation tool um, when we see religion and other things they're, they're so dogmatic but when we get to empower ourselves this like the story said you know uh most of us use tarot for self-reflection and growth yeah which is really what the tarot cards are all about when you actually study them and realize oh the universe is talking to you but it's talking to you individually about your own journey yeah your own growth so for queer people we've always we've never had that that blueprint that model mm -hmm. you know we're mm -hmm. on the outside so we see things differently so it, we're always searching for an innate an um, answer within ourselves to be like hmm why is this why is this and it's because we live on the fringe of society we always have been i love that i love that because you know again there are no coincidences if you no. have a feeling about something there's a good uh, there's a good idea that that maybe somebody's trying to send you a message or or the universe is trying to send you a message and you're not being willing and open to it you mm -hmm. know or you just haven't slowed down and enough to hear it that's enough to hear yeah. it and pay attention yeah. um because we're so caught up in so many existential circumstances that we we just don't listen to that inner core mm. but that's you that's basically what spirituality is all about just bring you back to your own awareness your own power your own freedom your own liberation because it all exists inside and it's all so, about you yeah it's, it's all, all about, about you. you now folks you know um Mr. Jamal has done a reading for me, and it's almost time for you to do it again because that was that was January. Are we ready for an alignment? I think we are. And folks, do yourself a favor if you'd like like a tarot reading or something like that, or something to get centered, reach out to Porcelain, send them a DM, okay? And um, and they'll do it. And they could you could do it through Zoom, you could do it in person. Mm -hmm. But it really it's something that was creepy about the reading was. You were sitting in front of me. We had these cards. We had we had all these kind of amazing things on the table. But when you were talking to me, your voice didn't different. sound like yours. Yeah, it's different. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Creepy. And once I got past that creepiness, then I was allowing myself to get the message. But wow. Uh, because we know each other. So it, it's kind of different. Even when I do it for like family and friends, they're like, whoa, the energy just changed. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, I'm in a different space. Okay. Um, um, I'm in a different mindset. I'm, I'm receiving messages as well. So I have to censor myself as well. So when I'm speaking, it's like, it's, it's coming from a different source. Um, and it's not coming from me. It's coming through spirit. Um, and I also do now sound healing baths. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. I'm all crystal wear, and I'm just so excited with it. Oh, I love um, it. I know really some dirty people, people to send your way. Bring them. So <laughs> wash them off with the, with, with the sound and the waters and everything else. You gotta clean them. Yeah, yeah you gotta clean them in certain parts extra. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna start doing the sound bath healing to bring people into the space that I'm in instead of just me showing up with the cars and being like wah 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 in here. Um, I'm going to immerse people first and then we can like flow into a conversation. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Do yourself a favor, honestly. So did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen right there so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.